sometimes, when I make a great effort, I can remember her scent, the sweetness of her breath. Serena. Hey guys, Sean here from the Highland Gamers. Good morning. So today I'm playing a game that a few of my friends told me about called Serena. They said it was a horror game, or a point and click adventure game. But for a point and click game, this looks fucking amazing. Her photo is right there. Maybe I could have another look. Maybe you could. Or maybe not. Serena? Why can't I see you more clearly? Why can't I even remember? This was taken on that crisp winter night at our mutual friend's hunting lodge. We came back indoors laughing, giddy as teenagers. No. I put the photo down. It's not helping at all. Yeah, as I was saying before, they told me it was a horror as well, but I don't know if... It looks like it could be a horror, but... Judging by that... It's more like it's gonna be a romance type game. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down. I guess I'm just gonna I go ahead and... still can't understand. Even the features of her face feel hazy and distant, like remnants of a broken dream. That's... It's pressing, man. So, I'm gonna just go into this and see if I can't figure out what the hell is going on, for starters. Let's start with the kitchen. I'm kinda hungry. No, that's not the kitchen. Things anyway, buddy. <gasps> Wine! Somewhere Shadow. here, in our private refuge, there must be something that reminds me of her. It's obviously not this, so... Hmm. We had such a wonderful time dining in this cabin. Serena loved to experiment with her cooking. Oh man, I bet she made some awesome meals. Speaking of which, I'm kind of hungry right now. Uh, well, I'm not going to worry about food right now. Washington Town, Michael. Okay, so considering this book sticks out the most, I'm going to guess I have to check out this one. Give I loved it when oh. we took down one of my favorites and curled up on the bed to read together as the wind howled outside on cold winter nights. There could actually be wolves. I'd be very concerned if I were you. Can I open this? I cannot. Cheer. So many afternoons spent in this armchair. Sounds like I've heard that voice, but I don't think I have. That is beautiful painting. I can just... Let's have a look at it. I cannot. Window? No. Window? No. Yes? Yes. Hi, window. There's probably nothing out there that I want to see, anyway. All the stuff I care about is inside. Well, except for Serena. Oh, so Serena's not here? Wait, is this the whole house? Ah, oh, must be a cabin. I just realized something. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So Serena, this is the cabin, obviously, and Serena's missing. Hey, right, photo. This is a boy... And a girl, no, yes, and a creepy other person. I don't know. I miss her so much. How, How is it that's possible that I can't remember her face? You drink too much. Hmm. Magazines? Nope. Over here. Umbrellas. I can't have them. Door. No, I don't want to leave right now. There's still something for me in here. Oh. Uh, how did I not notice that damn chest? What the fuck was that noise? Or something that sh something draws me to this trunk. Is it the memories locked within? Or something else? I bet there's a body in there. Come, love with peace in your heart. Said name of the Lieb... Wait, I bet you he reads it for me. Come, love, with peace in your heart. Of course. Said Niav of the Ice Blue Eyes. Hmm. Blue Eyes. Ah. Oh. So now you know she has blue eyes. It's based on an Irish folktale. Warrior poet Oshin goes to Tirnanog, a Celtic otherworld known as the Land of Youth and Promise. Fun facts. Maybe in the bedroom. Hmm. I'll start with you. Can I go? 
Yes, I can. This? Commune Evidence, Serena's favorite perfume. Oh, sounds fancy. Her drawers. Ah, oh, neat watch. Coins. Can't take any of it. Okay, no. This one. It's a note and pencils. Dearest, how do I say any of this? I like your way with words, but if I don't write this, I don't know what I'll do. My life feels so unreal now, dreamlike, but wonderfully so. Let me try, even if clumsily. The hours I spent with you when we last met are precious to me. I was so lost such a short time ago. Everything seemed drained of color and feeling. I think we were meant to find each other, to bring meaning to our lives again, make sense of the confusion shrouding both of us. When we stepped into the crystal silence of the snowy woods, away from the chatter of the guests, all nature seemed expectant, as if holding its breath, witnessing a rare moment of something infinitely better than what life in the ordinary run of things has to offer. Do you remember how the light crust of the snow glittered in the reflected light of the country house? How the copse of trees in which we walked was haloed with a magical aura? I felt the chill of the night air, and you opened your coat and enfolded me in your arms, and we hugged tight, sharing the warmth, sharing the only thing any of us have to share on this earth when you think about it. It's beautiful. Put it away. I miss her so much. How is it possible that I can't remember her face? Have you touched any illicit substances within the last 24 hours? More drawers. Keys! If the keys are here, does she have her spare? Pills. They prevent my blood pressure from skyrocketing. Doctor's orders. And Serena's. So it was on some kind of drugs, but the good kind. I'm gonna let you off this once. They're just clothes. This helped me not at all. Vera? She has blonde hair. There's a strand of blonde hair in the comb. Yes. Blonde hair like sun rays. I'm remembering. That's good, buddy. Moving on. Open this. Magazines. Things. I can't take any of it. This fucking clock. The clock is a trophy from our flea market adventures. Chalk this particular <coughs> purchase up to every cabin needs one. Yeah, well, it kind of ties the room together, buddy. Just saying. Although it is pretty annoying. Moving on. Hmm. Quite a large armoire for our admittedly Spartan needs. She uses most of it. Then open it. We all have our skeletons in the closet, but not Serena. She was perfect. Fine, don't open. open this. Don't open this. Open this. You're doing terrible things right now. <gasps> They're purple. She adored all things of nature. I remember her long walks out in the woods. She was religious? She is fairly religious. Not me. I'm the cold and cynical bastard. But I don't remember that ever being an issue between us. See, this is what should happen. Atheists and religious people shouldn't keep fighting. They should just keep their beliefs with themselves and then just worship who they want to worship or don't worship anyone and just shut the fuck up with everyone else. Don't bother us about it. We don't want to get involved. See, these two got along. Good for them. Now where the fuck do I go? The bed. Our refuge from the world. A place of warmth and passion. <sighs> This isn't going so great. True friends stand by each other through any adversity. Huh. Neat. Wait, does the picture change as I pick things up? It does. Look, I'm a genius. It was truly like an enchanted time, like we were in a magic circle where no sorrow or pain could touch us. Yep. My love. We don't have a lot of photos of ourselves as a couple, so this one is quite important. You guys look like a very happy couple. Things are changing.
Oh, I'm supposed to be moving now. So, can I go outside now? Let me be the one who makes sense of the confusion whenever you're feeling lost. Well, I'm feeling kind of lost right now, so... That'll help? No, of course not. Why? We might just as well stay here. But... There's nothing here! And it sounds... I kind of like this music, actually. Okay. And as soon as I admit I like it, it changes. Give me the fucking keys. I should leave the keys here until she comes back. Because I know she will. Well... Check the clock. How long has it been, I wonder? I can't tell. And I miss her so much. I don't know that feeling, buddy. Everyone gets like that. Um, under the bed? As always, I automatically went to the window side, and she took the one by the armoire. Some of her scent still lingers. Wait, shh. What the fuck? I heard crying. That ticking. It never stops. Thank you! What about over here? What's that? What's the matter with me? I can't seem to remember even ordinary things. When was the last time we made love? I can open this I know now. it's my general state of mind, but I feel even more depressed near this armoire. Guess I can't shake off the memory of my sweet Serena trying on her various garments. No. Be Fucking honest. open it. Does this dress show too much cleavage? I want only one pair of eyes on me. Open it. How I miss her naked back when she was standing by this armoire. The perfect curve of her neck. Her firm bottom. <laughs> Maybe later. There's nothing of interest inside the closet anyway. Oh wait, the chest. Let me in that. No. Oh, I gotta go forward more. Let me in you. Is there anything worse than beautiful memories turning to dust? Probably World War. Open it. I feel like I don't even have the strength to lift the lid. <sighs> Do you even lift, bro? Did you take this out and beat it, love? It's getting a bit dusty. It's one of the few decorative things here. We weren't much of homemakers, either of us. The clock! I've wasted so much time in my life. Did I ever take a break to show her how much I truly cared? I hope so. But right now, you're wasting a lot of time. Maybe if I go to sleep, I will wake up, and there she'll be, arms wrapped around me, the warm and passionate touch of her lips. But I can't sleep. It feels as if I've been awake for ages. Just go the fuck to sleep. I feel... Too restless to sleep right now. What do you want from me? Drink at ya. Lamp? Do you remember how the light crust of the snow glittered in the reflected light of the country house? Do I have to find everything that brings back a memory or something? When did the color fade from these lampshades? That's why we liked them in the first place. The clock has always been rather autonomous. Shut the fuck up. Memories. Memories, memories. I've searched this. Do I have to look at them again? That's funny. I don't recall seeing this plant before. You're dumb. Not that it matters. She probably found this rare specimen during her walks and wanted to keep it. Maybe. Does it mean anything that it's next to her Bible? Anyway, it's just some boring plant. A plant is a plant. Beautiful to some, boring to others. Is it possible there were times I was dismissive of her beliefs without even realizing it? I don't think so, but memory can be so deceptive. Uh, you're not helping me out here, man. Could it hurt me to be a bit more open towards religion? Serena's faith was always a, a rock for her to lean on. And I certainly could use one right now. Then pick up the book and start reading, motherfucker, because you're not helping me out.
So, to you guys, there's probably something obviously wrong right now. Like, something I'm obviously missing. I'm not so great with puzzles, okay? So, give me a minute here. Uh, wait, can I open these? I cannot. I've already tried this, haven't I? Fuck's sake. Okay. That's cool. Did I let my work destroy my love? Writing was so all-consuming for me. There's the clock again. And I made so little headway in all this time. Is the time changing at all? I haven't been noticing that. Incessant that. noise! I should smash this useless antique to pieces right now! Well, things are changing. It can't keep the time for five minutes straight. Chimes completely at random and never stops making that infernal noise. But hey, guess who thought it was so cute? This thing has caused me more sleepless nights than I care to remember. No wonder I'm going crazy. Yeah, man, get mad! All of this... these... pathetic souvenirs from our relationship, they're all lies. Wait, what? Did you... change your mind pretty damn quick? I couldn't care less about this damn thing. I torture myself trying to remember. I'm too upset to even think straight. I hate her so much. Whoa, 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 what the fuck just happened, man? You should go outside and take a breather, man. A part of me still thinks she'll forgive me and come back. But I've lost all of her now. Do I deserve to be forgiven? What about all the things she did and all the things she said? What the fuck happened? Words and dreams may be enough for you, but you know what? You'll get a chance to test that soon because I've had enough. Ah, uh, they had a fight. Wonder what it was about. I couldn't care less about this damn thing. It's a door, man. Show me the damn Sit picture. Sit down. We need to talk. Oh. When did it go so wrong? This was supposed to be a. We weren't supposed to fight here. What the fuck is going on? You just don't get it, do you? You never do. No, I don't. <laughs> Help me understand. God damn. I'm too upset to even think straight. <laughs> I'm too confused to think straight. I can open the trunk. Hey, there's a lot of cool shit in here. Is that slingshot? The jewelry box. What is it doing here? Well, you took it. Have I got an inventory? It's just a bunch of schmaltzy junk. Whoa, whoa, probably. I sit here on the train, taking me to my final farewell to the ones who brought me to this world. I see the smiling couples on their way to new adventures and think, they used to be us. We had joy and laughter and friends once, but a memory is not the thing itself. You're very good at letting things you don't want to face slip off you. You continue as if nothing has changed, lost in your own lifeless world. Words and dreams may be enough for you. You know what? You'll get a chance to test that soon. I question how I once saw things. How much of what I thought we had were my own feelings, and how much of your manipulation? Because you are so very good with words, aren't you? You knew how to use them when we met, and for the longest time, I went along with the romantic whirl you conjured up around our shabby, isolated existence. Oh, it took me long enough to see it for what it was. And there were these moments that you swept me off on foolish flights of fancy, when I threw myself into your fantasies. You wove your spell, plying me with your magic and with wine in equal measure, and I was taken in like the lost little girl I was. Do you realize all the pain you've caused me? They say if you have to ask whether someone loves you, you already know the answer. Protestations to the contrary can no more convince me anymore than I can make my own mother or father draw breath again. Your aloofness tells a different story. I was totally listening. Okay, so I get it. They've had a big fight and she's mad at him and he's a manipulative bastard or some shit. And yep. So I read that. How do I use the Is jewelry this box? where she kept her secrets? I should take a look inside. Where to put it? Why must I always be the one to fill the damn pitcher? Because apparently I'm too lazy. When did the place get so out of hand? I hate dust, and so did she, but here's a whole freaking cake of it! If I kicked the nightstand, the dust would billow up and swallow me like a desert storm! Or like Boo when he absorbs you! Dragon Ball Z. The stains on this bed suddenly make me mad. Angry, even. Stains? Nasty. That's how. 
Put the jewelry box there. Wait. I don't think she's smiling, man. She's angry now. Part of me realizes I should be more shocked by this, but for some reason, I just feel numb. Beyond it. Okay. Open the box. What's in the fucking box? Her wedding ring or mine? But what is it doing here? Oh, please, no. What is it? I can't see your hand to tell if it's yours. It's hers. Oh. I can't believe she would just leave it here. Where the hell is she? No. It can't be true. Okay, so I'm gonna guess they broke up. And she left him with the wedding ring and everything. And he got really, really, really upset. And then really, really, really drunk. And maybe took the pills or something while he was drinking. Fell asleep. Woke up. No memory. Just a guess. Or he killed her. That's plausible too. I remember how happy these made her. She smiled. That wonderful smile. You don't sound so convincing when you say it's wonderful. Go to it. And open it. Yes. Well, this is fucking nothing. Wait. Do you realize how stupid this was? We had a plan. I took measures to ensure nothing like this would happen. But no, we couldn't help your damn so. My God. We can't risk me. What is this? The bulldozer is it can't. Any minute. It isn't. Don't worry. It's all How did it happen? I can't remember. It's already rotten beyond recognition. But how much time has passed? What the fuck am I looking at right now? I can't even remember how I did it. Maybe I didn't. Do I have brain damage? Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised. I am surprised. I kind of cold that he killed her, though. I need a drink quickly. I fucking hate being right. I should probably grab those keys and get the fuck out of here, I guess. She's not coming back. She never left. Okay, dude, boy, well, you need to leave. You need to leave now. Those noises sound like more than one person. Who can it be? The police? Are they coming for me? I deserve it, but... I want to see who it is first. Then use the window. Ah, uh, no. Wait, is that your memory of you and her? Do you realize how stupid this was? We had a plan. I took measures to ensure nothing like this would happen. But no, it couldn't help your damn self. We can't risk moving it now. The bulldozers are coming any minute. Fire will do it. Do you think they will buy it after all this time? It's been months since you- Don't worry. It's all covered. He spent much time here. Oh shit! Fine. Give me the kerosene. I'm a ghost! That's me! That's my buddy! I'm a ghost! Oh shit! We forgot your... Fuck! It was so stupid to leave it. Why did you do that? Can you calm down? I couldn't bear to wear it any longer. Let me go! Please! Please! No! Not like this! Please! No! Holy shit! That's fucking... Fuck. Uh -huh. 
So, alright. I could be wrong here. But, they had a fight. No. Okay. She got the flowers from somewhere that he was talking about. So maybe she got those from another man. She didn't love him anymore. She went to leave or something. They had a fight. Basically, the end result is I think she's killed him. Put him in her cupboard, closet, whatever. We are a ghost that cannot remember anything. And she and this other man have burnt down the house with my body inside? Or his body inside? Talking first person here. Wow. Well. <laughs> there you go, that's... That's Serena. I've got a lot of different feelings and what's going through my head right now, so... I don't know if I'm really shocked, surprised, or fucking... I'm amazed that I guessed that. Well, actually, no, I didn't. I said he killed her. But someone was dead, and I guessed it. Okay, I guess that's it. Um... Thanks for watching. And sticking around, and... Yeah. That's it. Bye, guys.